Oh, I didn't even know what number this is. Uh, scene six, take one, Kieran Majaria. When you finish medical school, you get a provisional registration to practice. And when you finish your FY1 year, you get a full registration to practice. Then you climb up the rankings as a junior doctor until you get to the top and you become a consultant. Now, consultants can work in either the public sector, i.e. the NHS, or the private sector. The way this works practically is like this. Let's say a patient has really bad knee pain and has arthritis and they want to get a knee replacement. On the NHS, there might be a really long waiting list for this. So they can instead choose to go privately for this, choosing a hospital they want, perhaps choosing a surgeon they want, but ultimately getting this done a lot faster. Working as a doctor in the private sector does tend to pay a lot more and the hospitals do tend to be quieter, but there's a different patient demographic and patients could be seen as more demanding. However, they do pay extra for this or their insurance may pay extra for this if they've been paying for insurance. The private sector for doctors pays more. Often the facilities are nicer, but the patients can be a bit demanding. And ultimately you're not helping the general public, many of whom can't afford this kind of healthcare. There's an opportunity as an SHO doctor, so normally after your FY2 year, to work in a private hospital as a locum doctor. This is often a quieter life and is paid more, but these jobs are quite hard to come by. And I know this has been a lot of information, so if you've forgotten any of it, you'll be able to download everything after this workshop in the FY1 Survival Guide.